Now let's look at the output section of our template. So we have our template over here uh, from our previous videos. I'm going to add another section over here called outputs. And it's similar to the parameters section. So it's so we have our parameters and we have our outputs over here. And it has a label or a logical representation like we have key name over here. So we have this web URL. So what we are trying to do over here is generate a URL of our server and it will show up in the output section. And the idea is the user can just click and click to that URL and can access the server. So we want to generate the URL for our server. So the output section will have description. So we have our description and the value. The value is basically what it has to display as output. And for that, we are passing in a function called join. So this join function basically takes in the delimiter. So in our case, if it's the empty double quote, it means there is no delimiter and just join everything that is going to fall over here without a delimiter. So we are going to first of all, so it's like string concatenation. So over here, we are going to have this HTTP, uh, obviously for the URL. And then we are going to again, use another function called get attribute. It takes in two parameters, the EC2 instance or logical name for our EC2 instance and the property of that EC2 instance. So in this case, it will be public DNS name. So this will be generated after the instance is created. So this is basically how we construct a join function. We pass in the delimiter. In our case, it's double, so it's a blank string. Basically, there's no delimiter and then the values to join. So we have this HTTP and this get attribute function will return the public DNS name from this EC2 instance. And this is a fixed value. This is a syntax and you can look it up in the documentation, different properties of the EC2 instance, and you can uh, basically construct your own output depending on your requirements. So now let's try to run this and see what output do we get. So I'm going to click next over here. Select our key name, click next, next again, and then click create. So after a while, the stack will be created. So now the creation is completed. The status is create complete. Let's click on the stack and let's look at the output section. And so you can see over here, the URL for our server has been generated. And if I click on this, nothing is going to happen because we haven't uploaded any code to our server or things like that. So it's not going to fetch anything. But this is how you can construct an output of your CloudFormation template. And we have the template over here and the output section that we had created.